So we're here at the Garmin booth and uh, you're wearing a really cool looking Garmin product. So hi, so who are you? Yeah, hi, my name's Andy Silver and I'm currently wearing the new uh, Varia Vision Insight display. Um, this product displays um, data yeah. and relays it in your line of sight directly from uh, the Garmin Edge uh, and the Varia radar product. I'll Could just take, take it, it off so I can yeah. <laughs> talk to you properly. Off. Um, yeah, this is this device is designed to fit seamlessly into a, a Garmin cyclist's network of, of, of accessories, and the aim of it is um, it will essentially allow the cyclist to concentrate and to view their data in their line of sight rather than detracting away from it uh, by looking down at their bike computer. So it will pair with a Garmin Edge. Um, you will um, set up. Um, the display that this will show on your Garmin Edge and then when you are riding um, you will be shown uh, the data relayed automatically in your line of sight. So what's a Garmin Edge? Uh, the Garmin Edge is, is, is our bike computer network. Is it? Uh... So it's, it's the Edge 520 um, is compatible or the Edge 1000 so there are two uh, products that are compatible. So these are like uh, bicycle computers or? They're bicycle computers that will track your speed, your distance, your heart rate, your cadence, your power. Uh, and basically everything a rider needs to really monitor their performance. Heart rate, so how do they monitor the heart rate? Um, that is just with a chest strap. So all of that, all of that information is relayed onto your Varia Vision. It's a very, very simple device. We've, we've deliberately designed it so that it fits to a user's existing sunglasses. So it will mount on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. And how do, you, how do you mount it up? It's a very simple mechanism that um, attaches. So it slips in with a quarter-turn mount. Nice. You can adjust in three ways, so up and down, the arm itself adjusts and then the display lens adjusts too. So effectively it should take a cyclist a minute to set it up perfectly on their sunglasses and then once it's done, um, they'll get kind of perfect insight display vision of their data. So that looks completely awesome and you might be the most popular smart glass in the world. Our because the Google Glass wasn't really released. And the other guys are not really releasing yeah. stuff, are they? Yeah, this is, I mean, this is coming onto the market in a couple of weeks. It's going into production shortly. Um, we have a very clear target market for this. The a target market for this is the Garmin Edge customer or the Garmin Radar customer. So what they will see on the device is all of the data that's on their edge. They will also see the smart notifications that come through the edge. They'll see navigation turn prompts if they're navigating on a ride. Um, they'll see segment alerts and they'll also see radar information directly on the edge too. So what that is, they'll see, uh, if they have the Varia radar also, they will see cars approaching from behind directly on, uh, on the Varia vision. But why are you limiting just to, I mean, I mean bicycle sounds awesome and uh, I like to ride my bicycle, but well, how about using it when you're not on a bicycle? I mean, this, the, the, the reason for starting with the cycling is that it is the most kind of, uh, the most relevant audience because what our, our aim is to really build a cycling awareness range of accessories that allow the cyclist to have a, a, a greater appreciation of the environment that's going on around them and have a safer riding experience. That's why we focused on, on cycling first. Um, we're also developing a marine version of this um, for, um, for serious sailors to use on boats. Um, it's compatible with our new Vivo Active HR wristwatch as well. Uh, GPS smartwatch, so um, it will extend beyond cycling, but cycling is our, our core first target. For it's wireless? Yeah, it's fully wireless cable. A a ANT Plus. How long is the battery uh, life? The battery is uh, eight hours. Eight uh, hours? So you'll get a really long, consistent with ride the from it. With the display on all the time, or just once in a while on? No, with, with the display permanently on. So can we look over here a little bit? So, uh, for example, uh, if you go to the Best Buy or um, all these stores everywhere, you can find these uh, there, right? Yeah, so this is the Vivo Smart HR. Uh, we introduced this uh, just before Christmas. Um, this is um, an activity tracker with integrated wrist heart rate um, and smart notification capability. So it has a, a, a very simple to use touch display. It will track your steps, um, your calories. It has an altimeter within it um, to track your uh, stairs and floors climbed as well. Um, and it will obviously track your sleep. It will regularly sync with the Garmin Connect mobile app so that you can then 
review um, all of your daily activity and, and share that inf information with your friends and motivate each other to, to try and sort of edge yourself towards a, a healthier lifestyle. Does it connect with uh, Google Health and all kinds of other stuff? We have various APIs in place that will send the data across to, to, to third parties, yes. Um, it has an integrated heart rate monitor built into it, so it will track your um, daily heart rates. Uh, like 20, the whole day? The whole day. But how, how often does it ping it, the heart rate? It will vary. It depends on the level of activity that you're doing. So if, if you're sedentary, then it will be every couple of minutes or so. Um, if you're more active, it will be much more frequently. It will, we, we vary the algorithm. Um, and we do that primarily to prolong the battery life and to make sure that people aren't having to charge it um, consistently. So with this, you'll get around about um, five days of, 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 of daily usage with smart notifications uh, and heart rate activity tracking. And what's a smart notification? Does it mean any notification from your smartphone? Yeah, any, any notification Everything. From, the from the notification center. Nice. Does it look nice? Can you have uh, an icons that look like Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff? Um, we, have, um, we don't have icons, but we have the full messaging and obviously the location of where it's come from. And it's um, always on display? It's always on display. It's touch screen, very easy to exercise. Yeah, it's 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 is it memory uh, LCD? But, uh, so, so it's not uh, monitoring constantly every second the heart rate? That's no. not possible, huh? No, it's not monitoring that. I mean, it, it could do, but then the, the, the battery life will be compromised. So we do it, we, you know, we, 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 we do it so that it's enough to really get a good picture of your of your health. So what, what you see when you look at the heart rate is you'll see your, um, this is in Spanish now, but you'll see your resting heart rate um, and then you'll see kind of your heart rate over the last um, four hour period. Um, is, is so you get a good idea of your, your kind of health. Is this very useful for uh, like serious uh, health situations where people need to monitor the heart and they might notice something's wrong or no? It's, it's not aimed as a medical device um, but it, it gives you an indication of, of, of your health. So for example if you wake up in the morning and your resting heart rate is three or four beats higher than it normally is, then I, that's an indication that you're tired, you need more rest, or that you're coming down with something and you should take it easy for that day. Nice. So it's not it's not medical, but it, it helps to give you an indication nice. into your health. And what are those? Uh, this one here are the Vivo Activate HR, so they come with um, yeah. Uh, an integrated uh, GPS smartwatch that also is now newly introduced with integrated wrist heart rate as well. Um, so our aim at um, at Garmin is is really to provide products for for an active lifestyle environment, which is why we have integrated GPS into it, and which is why we've now integrated wrist heart rate as well. So, um, is there different uh, levels of brightness, or um, the, well, the, the, the display that we yeah. use is. These are products that are designed for the outdoors, so you see with the GPS there we have um, running, biking, um, swimming, walking, cycling, paddle boarding, you know, all outdoors activities that will use the GPS information um, to get data. Is there a um, for, that, for, that, for that reason, um, the display, our focus is really visibility in sunlight. Um, it's a chroma display and our focus is, is how it how it looks outside. It's an always on display. We want people to be able to see their data in all environments and in all light conditions. Right. So the product itself um, has those multiple um, uh, sport profiles loaded into it. Um, obviously it carries across all of the activity tracking that we have on, our, on, on the lower down product in our family. So steps, sleep, um, calories, stairs climbed, um, uh, intensity minutes, which is a measure of uh, of, 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 uh, of your sort of moderate or vigorous intensity levels against World Health Organization goals. So it has all of that, but it, with the GPS, it also adds in the outdoor sport capabilities. So, um, so this is what's been going on with Garmin the last five uh, or so years, right? There's uh, a, a, a lot of uh, smart, so smart, smart devices going on. We, I mean, we wearables. I mean, we've, it's interesting because we've been in wearables since 2003. 2003. When when we launched our first uh, GPS uh, running watch, so you know our, our goal is absolutely to deliver smart products with a purpose. So there's a lot of question marks around why do I need a smartwatch? We give very very clear reasons with the integrated GPS um, for sport specific activities. You know, it gives people a real reason to, to use the product, and they don't need to be tethered to their phone uh, the whole time. Do people hack your devices to do even more or no? Uh, because I'd like to see the glass, for example, I'd like to use it all the time. I want to I want to see every, uh, not just for the bicycle, you know? Not just for what, sorry? I, I would like to have all my Android notifications on it and everything. Like, I use it as a Google Glass. You can get Android notifications on here too. Alright. 
Yeah. So that's cool. Okay, thanks a lot. That's awesome. And the prices are affordable and everybody uh, yeah, should buy Yeah, this will be $249. $249 and this one is... Uh, 